Hey gang, today we're talking trading plans, okay? Listen up now, today I got something very special for you. We're gonna go behind the scenes. We're gonna take a peek behind the curtains. I'm gonna show you inside one of our exclusive Monday Q&A sessions at a conversation that we had where we were evaluating and breaking down a potential trading plan. Now, this is important because many of you guys out there have no idea what trading plans are, and that's one of the reasons that you're struggling so much. And those who do know what trading plans are don't really know how to build them in the correct way. Now, I'm not gonna share for you the whole thing because that would be entirely too long, but what I wanna share for you is a portion where we talked about the rules of engagement and how we talked about making and I guess being more intelligent intentional being more specific about what we're saying, what we're looking for, and giving some thought of if we should be adding anything to those rules. So take notes and check it out. My initial thoughts was that there were a lot of things thrown into a single space. So it was kind of like when my, my wife cooks. So I'm the chef in the house, right? and my wife cooks and she doesn't necessarily understand like the different seasonings. So she'll just take like five or 10 different seasonings from the shelf and just put them all on the thing. And I'm sitting here like, well, like that one should be used for chicken. It's got a lot of salt. You don't want to put another one in there with more salt because it's going to be really, really salty and stuff like that. So I think there needs to be you know, in, in, in my in my trading strategy, the way I, I develop it is, and we, we will just focus on rules of engagement, right? I have a different rule of engagement for each section. So it's like advanced patterns has its own like chapter. CTS has its own chapter. Uh, FTB has its own chapter. And I feel like in this thing, they were all thrown into the same thing where it was like, well, rules for advanced patterns and CTS. And then I got confused. I'm like, well, are we trading CTS? I didn't see CTS earlier, but maybe I missed it. But then AB equals CD, like, or is that a separate or different thing? So th the first thing I would advise is like, one, we, we separate the, the trading styles. If it's going to be CTS, because CTS wasn't mentioned at all, but then it was thrown in there at the end. So I'm like, I didn't even know we were trading CTS, right? If CTS is going to be involved, let's put, let, let's call it CTS. And then let's, let's define what you need. Advanced patterns, they're going to be in its own little right. So advanced patterns and then have your 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 advanced pattern section and your subsections for bat, gartley, cipher, whatever it is. But there needs to be clarity. I'm also, it wasn't fully clear on the process of analysis that the trader is going through. So for example, I know if I have a double top, I need the RSI to be overbought and oversold. I know if I have a double top, I know my stops need to be an ATR above. I know my targets need to go at a 618 or previous structure. That's something that needs to be cleared up as well. What I don't know is, am I trading every double top? Am I trading every ABCD pattern? So am I going on a chart and just saying, hey, you know what? We're looking at a, let's get a lower time from here. We're looking at a A, B, C, D. Am I trading right up here if I get RSI? Or are there other things I'm taking into account? Like, do I need that A, B equals C, D or that double top to come at, or that doji candle? Do I need it to come at structure? Do I need Fibonacci influence? Again, is this, is this part of a CTS? Do I need a certain score or is the CTS something different? So there needs to be more, more clarity with that. Um, this was a, a confusing sentence for me as well. This moment in time, I will do most of not, most, if not all of my analysis on the trading time frame. Well, what am I doing on the, am I using the higher time frame? Am I not using it? What analysis am I doing on, on what? Right. There needs to be there needs to be clarity in that. I think the indicator section is fine. This is pretty straightforward. And again, I like the, I like this area. What do I need to get involved? But this needs to be broken up specifically to the pattern. 
right? Or uh, not the pattern, excuse me. This needs to be specifically to the, the trading strategy. So what do I need to get involved for CTS trades? What do I need to get involved for advanced pattern trades? Right? And then again, the section right here says entries. I will only enter a trade if I see the following double top, double bottom that have RSI diversions or oversold for additional confirmation of reversal similar to below. Well, is this all I need? Is this all I need, right? So I, I, I want to be walked through the process. I want, I want, I want, I want Phil to tell me, okay, Akil, start on your higher time frame. If you identify prices at a previous level of outside structure, I'm just using this as an example, right? Outside structure in your higher time frame, then go down to your lower time frame. Okay, Phil. All right. Once you're down your lower time frame, Akil, then look for double top or double bottom, whatever we may be, right? Okay. If you see double top slash double bottom, then look for RSI be overbought, oversold. Okay, got it. If you have RSI or RSI overbought, oversold, then enter, right? You see how I'm being walked through, like you're holding my hand and walking me through, right? That's, that's, that's how a trading plan should be. I should be walked through. When I read double, pop, double tops and bottoms have RSI diversions, I think that, okay, I'm just looking for every single double top and double bottom that has divergence and, and RSI overbought oversold, which maybe that is the plan. And if, and if that's the case, it's okay, but I still want to be walked through it. So, I, and, and I told the trader this earlier in the week, this is, again, this is why it's a draft, right? The trader, we were speaking and, and he was kind of like, I don't know if I'm like, if I should still share it. I'm like, no, no, share it. It's going to be a good example, right? The, the room's not going to pick on you. This is a good example of kind of the, the, taking the basic skeleton of a trading plan and then working on evolving it. That's how we want to branch it out. Let's let's be very specific and intentional about what we're doing here. Right? Let's 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 branch it out some. Again, if we're going back to like the recipe type of model. Like right? if I used to do the hello fresh, right? If I got a if I got a thing from hello fresh and it was just like put chicken in oven. Cook does that help me? Like, no, I, I need to know the temperature. Like, do, yeah, do I put it on 350? Do I put it in four? Like, do I, 15 minutes? 30 minutes? Like, what am I doing? Like, it, it's, it's a good start, right? Because eventually I have to, you know, I should put the chicken in the oven and cook. But there are some more details that I, that I need to know. Should I season it first? Should I season it second? Do I hit it with the Thor hammer thing? I don't know what it's called, the tenderizer? I call it Thor's hammer, right? <laughs> I put on a cape and, you know, whatever. Um, summon lightning. But do, do I tenderize it first? Right? So the, these, these smaller details need to be worked into the plan. And again, this is a process for you guys that are writing trading plans, right? It doesn't, you, you don't, for any of the vets out there listening, do you start off with a fully established trading plan? <laughs> <laughs> Hell no, right? It, it's very similar to what we spoke about earlier with the, the, the macro versus the micro um, technical analysis, right? The trading plan starts off with a broad strokes. Let's get the perimeter. Let's get this oval going. This is going to be a face, but let's start with kind of the, the broad strokes. And then we dive, we, as we continue to, to grow it, we dive in and we get more, we get more detail. So that's that's what I want to see in this trading plan. I want to be I want to be more detailed, right? I enter on dojis that have over RSI, oversold, and overbought for additional confirmation. Okay, cool. What else with that doji? Again, for me specifically, my, the question I have is, where is that doji at? Is it any doji? Is it any pin bar? I think George wrote in earlier. Make sure we branch out the definitions of this stuff too. Like you know, define what a double top is, what a pin bar doji is, and all that fun stuff. Yeah. But am I trading every doji? Because I'll tell you what, there's a lot of dojis out there. There's a lot of dojis. Take it from someone who tried to trade every AB equals CD pattern, every double top earlier in his career. Ooh, doesn't work out that good. You need more. I thought it was that simple and it was. It was that simple to lose money. I'll tell you that. That was a simple thing, losing money. You need more.
right? So let's let's branch out more of the analysis. I, I think the trading plan is really caught up over the thing. And again, this brings me so back to my early my trading career. Where's the thing? Like AB equals CD pattern is the thing, right? Doji or pin bar is the thing. Double top, double bottom is the thing, right? We call those the what. Many of you guys have heard this before. It's the what. The what? The what? What? Right? But what's more important than the what? Say it again. What's more important than the what? Or at least what needs to go hand in hand with the what? The where? Because you're you 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 are never gonna be you're never gonna be at a loss for pin bar dojis engulfing candles double tops double bottoms AB equals CD patterns right the 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 main thing this is from my personal experience in trading right the main thing is where where are these things forming at where are these things occurring at that's what's gonna give it power. An AB equals CD pattern isn't that powerful because there's going to be like 15 potential AB equals CDs every chart, any time frame. But it's when that AB equals CD comes at a major level of structure and then you add it your RSI overbought and then you saw your bearish diversions and that's when you're cooking. That's when you're cooking. So I would like to see more about what else, what else goes um, into the trade aside from just the, the thing, the, the what. And then again, finally, like we got CTS at the at the at the, at the end, under filters and, and qualifiers, is is this a CTS strategy or not? I, I still don't know. You gave me a few things in there, right? You gave me a few things in the CTS checklist. You gave me RSI overbought, oversold. You gave me Doji. You gave, gave me R. You got you gave me RSI divergence. You got double tops and double bottoms in here. But. Are we actually building a CTS score or are we, I, th that part I still don't know. Because as far as what I'm reading is like, if I get an AB equals CD, I'm supposed to trade it. It says nothing about, I have to have a CTS score of seven to trade this AB equals CD. I, I just see if I have a double top, double bottom, I can trade it. So we need to just kind of think about what else we wanna, we wanna add um, as we evolve this trading plan. Yeah, it, it is a good start, yeah. There are some good ideas. It is it is a good brainstorming session. Yep, I agree. And again, understand that this trader is very, very new into the process. The first the first plan was just like words. And I was like, give me a little bit more. Or I was like, I, I'm like, I'll tell you right now. I'm gonna take this into the QA, they're gonna tear you apart. And he gave me an updated version with a little bit more details, which is cool. But he was like kind of like, I maybe I should wait. I'm like, no, 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 just get it in, man. No need to wait. The longer you wait, the more likely you are not to do it, right? So I'm like, just shoot it in there, take your medicine. Because that's how you learn from it, right? You know, no, one, no, one, no one's here judging you and like <laughs> calling you an idiot. Um, this is the best way to learn, man. You, you have your ideas, you shoot it in, you take notes on these Q&A sessions, you branch it out, you bring it back, right? And then we run through it again and we fill in some holes and then you keep doing it until all the holes are plugged. You keep bringing that car in for maintenance, right? Until, until you get it. Yeah, so I, I, I love it. The, the, the best traders that we worked with on this platform, they, they've come in probably two or three times um, until we get to the point where we're like, you guys got anything? And they're like, nah, like, well, all good. <laughs> like, okay, well, I think it's good to go then. Um, but it's cool to have those proofreaders, man. It's cool. It's, it's, it's like being able to like hand in your, your writing assignment to your professor and having them like read it before you actually get graded on it. Um, and getting graded on it would be like live trading. And Jason always says this, right? Trade. The cool thing about trading is like, we never have to start too early. We never have to put any money at risk before we're ready. So we, we can hand in our exam whenever we want, whenever we feel comfortable enough with it. And that's the cool thing about trading. We don't have to kind of, there's no deadline on this exam. It's like, it has to be in Friday. If it's not ready by Friday, then we, we do it next Friday. So that's cool. That's cool. Orson says, Grady brought it back here because he can come back with the update. Yeah, looking forward to it. Um, and other traders are saying, yeah, I'm, I'm learning from it. That, that, that's the most important thing. I, and in fact, I, when he was writing the trading plan, I, I forwarded, I forwarded him back to a few other Q and A sessions. I'm like, Hey, watch these first. And this will give you kind of a good idea of what, what it looks like. Um, so yeah, when, when, when we go through these, it's not just to help for the trader, 
it's a help for all traders because you guys are right now like, okay like i need to and maybe you guys have half written trading plans by yourself and you're like okay i need to branch this out it's it's perfect that's why i, I love the q a's um Real quick, uh, I think we're touching on his rules for engagement. Rather, yeah, this is just yeah, just rules of engagement. Sorry, I think someone might have mentioned something. Yeah, this is just rules. We're just we're not even focused about the rest of the stuff: philosophy, psychology, money management, all that fun. So, just the rules of engagement. Because we haven't even gotten to the other the other stuff yet. Um, the rules of engagement are usually the meat. Like once you have that, the other stuff is kind of you. You put that. You could put that together around kind of you. Um, the rules are going to be the most important part. Uh, real quick, um, before we leave, Ali says. Oh, yeah. Muse says, at least he wrote it. Amen to that. That's more than most people, right? I can't tell you how many traders I, I speak to on a regular basis that were, they're like, Akil, I've been losing. I don't know why I'm losing. You know, I, why am I in a drawdown? I'm like, well, have you been following all of the rules of your trading plan? I, I do it with a smirk because I already know the answer. Like, oh, oh what? Uh, like, <laughs> this trading plan. I'm like, oh, yep, there we go. <laughs> so, like, oh, how, how do the results mimic your back testing? <laughs> <laughs> they don't mimic it at all because I haven't back tested. Ah. And I'm like, yep, there we go. Right. So you're you're if you have like literally if you if you literally write trading plan on a piece of paper, you have done more than most traders. <laughs> if you write down trading plan and to, and then dot 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 to be continued, you have done more than you have done more than most traders. I'm gonna do it again for you guys. Tap yourself on the back. <laughs> All right, uh, real quick. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, this was inside one of our Monday Q&A sessions. We do this all the time. It's one of my favorite sessions of the week. If you're interested in joining uh, this community of traders and hopping in on the weekly sessions or catching the recordings if you can't make it live, you can do so. Just head over to www.tier1trading.com. I must warn you, it's only available with your premium membership. So if you're a trial member, you get access to a bunch of other stuff, but not the Q&A. Q&A is only available to our premium members. So if that's something you're interested in, head over to the website and check it out.